Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Good when you have a Viego on your side here. You have some kill pressure up there. You also are going to add to that scaling damage. And Senna's going to give you so much sustain. So even if Jinx is trying to poke you with her zap, just wants to sit there and take farm forever anyway. She doesn't even necessarily want that turret down. Just Peanuts coming up here. Barrage committed. Yeah, uh, Cannon Barrage is going to slow Rascal down. He gets stunned up by Peanut, and Rascal has nowhere to go. That's the simplest first blood ever, and it goes to Peanut. Genji on the board. Really nicely played Ooh. here from Genji. Ruler's going to get licked. Life just devours him. Okay, let's see whether he has enough damage to take him down, and he does with the help of a Super Mega Death Rock, and immediately the kill is traded back. Aiming, living up to his name yet again here. Gonna hit that long range rocket. Get that extra execute damage down. Very well played against the immobile Senna in the early game. Devour her early and take her down. So extra gold. Going over to the Kench. Unfortunately, the kill did not go to aiming, but still at least trading something else back here while grabbing the two plates for the trade. Yep, Lahen's doing his very best to grab this farm before it dies, but still going to lose a couple of plates. We'll get a turret. So Genji willing to give up second Drake here. They want to see what the soul is. Will be our first cloud of the season. Ooh, I hope so. That would definitely be a big treat uh, here for the beginning of the day. Rift Herald goes down in the mid lane, though, so Genji, this is just all trades of objectives, and uh, Genji are trading up. They uh, made the beginnings of these plays, right? Because they went for the Rift Herald first. They grab that, they're looking for a Shirley double charge, and they will be able to do so here. And not a whole lot. I mean, like... They got two control wards down, top side. Torin. Yeah, Cuz looking for him. I don't think he can eat oranges out of that one, but it's a decent flash to get himself out of it. Another Super Mega Death Rocket lands, and this time aiming claims the kill. Can they turn this around? I don't think so. No. And Jovi should be able to actually save his ult for the end of these upcoming fights. Well, Rascal taking a bit of damage here. The Narbar's in a good position, though. Ruler having to flash to get out of the way of Cuz as life. Going for the engage, jumps on top of Lahen, who immediately breaks his stopwatch. In the meantime, Rascal having to flash out of the pit, but it's Singe that goes down first. And it's just some shellfish here for Gen G as an answer. They're getting towards that back line, but remember, this is soul point for KT. Those two drakes that they've managed to take, this is a big moment for them. They can create a lot of map control by securing this dragon. Already a bit of damage going down, and in goes Kaz now, looking for the back line where he can. Emperor's Divide just to stave them off, and the Dawning Shadow flies forward. Now it's Genji's turn to go for the engage. Ari is just going to get flung back and then destroyed in the back line. It is the Drake that is secured by KT, but at what cost, ladies and gentlemen, as Peanut just destroys the Wukong. Rascal's dead as well, and the first team fight goes to Genji. And look at the damage numbers on the Gangplank on the Azir. Two item spikes have been hit, and the Azir's got the double mask and as long as Chobi doesn't get killed in that initial exchange which they looked for him Wukong ults in cause is trying to get those knockups trying to lock Chobi down he's got that self peel in his ultimate he pushes them back and then he eventually with his sand soldier starts to burn everybody down Doran pulls the trigger on his ultimate and this is a very fast Baron here in yeah. terms of the take time at 22 minutes because they have those items online and it's actually heal deny that Doran goes with for his saying but it also does way too much damage here to aiming, as you can see, just uh, an auto and a conquering sands. And he loses a third of his health bar. So Genji rotating towards his bot side. The big barrel there from Doran. Able to soften up the members of KT that are here to defend. Still the Nas splitting on the top side, and that means they have to give up the inner turret. Defending turrets is so difficult into this composition too. You've got a Singed on the other side. You've got a Senna who can continue to poke and sustain. And then Chovy, like you said, not only does he basically take a third of the health away from anyone he touches, but you know, he can push these minions incredibly safely and quickly uh, yeah. at this point. So you could just siege up these turrets so quickly at 24 minutes in. Uh, you know, this has not been the case in most of our games of LCK so far this season, is to actually be able to threaten inhibitors at this point. But with the lead they get, the early Baron, they're making it happen. They're threatening two inhibitor turrets at once. Yeah, and they are able to just rotate in between these turrets very effectively. As you can see, it felt like the work they'd done earlier pays off as they head down towards that bottom side, secure the inhibitor turret. To uh, mid inhibitor is going to go down, and Genji just really making KT feel the pressure here. And they're like, what dragon? 
We just don't even really care. I and I, I really want to go back to something I at this point are almost frustrated that they have to take this like Oh, this is the only objective we can get right now to wait for that next Baron. I wish KT could get this Drake so we could fight for an Elder and win. Not a flash and a cleanse, so yeah. That might actually be a big deal. Yeah. Um, no facetiosity required on that one as Peanut fighting Rascal gets not into the wall, takes a lot of damage, goes golden as the Dawning Shadow flies forward. There is the taunt. Really good prediction of the flash there from Arya, who then goes into his Zonyas. Now trying to find more, but there's just too much damage on the side of Genji. The wallets are so heavy as Lance just flashes up after everyone oh my god he's such a lens i mean he used his cleanse earlier but he just doesn't care he's just gonna keep chasing Chovy did so much damage in that fight with a double mask because he was also untouched and once the engage tools are gone the cannon barrage was so well placed like jindy are just running away with this one super minions pushing into the base right now and kt are stuck up the creek without a paddle yeah well Chovy, he's looking to give them a paddle um, but it's not the one that they really wanted. Aiming just going to be shoved back towards the rest of the open arms of Gen G. And uh, yeah, Rascal's going to run for the hills, but uh, yeah, there are no hills for you over this side of the map. Trophy's going to tidy this one up most likely. Oh, it's going to take some time. Um, however, that no magic mantle value. He should theoretically die as the teleport from Lance is going to come through, avoid the uh, Nar as well, and the Beekeeper reigns supreme. <laughs> He had his dash cannon available. I wish he had have avoided the Gnar with the dash cannon instead. That would have been cool. Yeah, maybe next time. Baron's up, so that's going over to Genji. Two minutes until the Drake. No cross maps here for KT, but they have defended long enough for their inhibitor to respawn in the mid lane because it was taken so early on in this game. Yep. And avoids the Gnar and then like heads back in again. Man, he is so good at Sin. Put some flex tape on the floor right there. Yeah, that was just like so many mechanics happened. Toby's 007 right now. Yeah, secret agent. Secretly doing all the damage in this game <laughs> without getting kills. Yeah, and secretly taking all of the minions, although it's not a secret at all. <laughs> uh, Peanut slinks into the mist, and KT are just trying to figure out exactly what went wrong. Um, and you know, allowing barrels like that to hit is part of the problem, but I have a feeling it dates back a little bit further than that as far as the history of this game was concerned. Because Genji now just bearing down upon these Nexus turrets and KT look a little bit lost as to what to do. Yep. Genji just waiting for the minion waves to crash through. Baron empowered cannons just pushing through these turrets as Chovy burns through health bars. If anyone who gets into his range, Barrage. Uh -huh. Cannon Barrage to come through here. Devour now on cooldown. Aiming just trying to run away to safety as Rascal dives forward. Doran is going to get taken down. It's the monkey that grabs that kill. Is now Ruler slinks into his own mist, trying to escape from this one. Man advantage for KT, but have they moved too far? And the answer is yes. Life just gets toasted as Trovi throws him into the rest of his team. Lahens is being chased. And he's a singed. KT, it's the oldest adage <laughs> of League of Legends history. You do not chase him. And uh, Peanut's going to chase Rascal, but he's a Nah. So that's allowed. Um, and it might, uh, in fact, this chase may be continuing uh, until forever. He's as the Nexus might go down before Peanut has an opportunity to find him as he misses yeah. down there over the wall. <laughs> and uh, Lahens, oh, he might actually die here. Yeah, that's another turret shot that was on the way, but it's Aiming that's able to lock that one down. Cuz is extraordinarily low. Chovy is going to destroy Aiming here. Although Aiming does do a fair bit of damage, it's not going to be enough to keep him alive. And the Nexus is likely to fall. Peanut chasing Rascal yet again. <laughs> Uh, reminds me of the Udia versus Nidalee situation uh, that was very, very funny in uh, previous seasons. But that is the Nexus going down, and Genji claim their first game victory. I think a pretty significant draft diff here.